the pillar um, is the number one disc um, on infinite disc site as far as very overstable approach disc and uh, the zone took second place actually so very interesting to note ladies and gentlemen welcome back to disrespect disc golf glad to have you on the channel if it's your first time here thanks so much for stopping by today we got a pretty fun one i'm in st augustine florida right now and i'm going to be reviewing the pillar from goliath disc this is a very very stable approach disc um, some people say it's better than the zone so we'll find out let's hop right into it Cool, so I forget the exact numbers on the pillar. I want to say it's like 3204, but I'll put the flight numbers um, on the screen right now. So I've got um, an Oasis pillar. This is like premium plastic. Um, you can see the profile there. It's, um, it's kind of like a tilt for an approach disc. Um, definitely more stable than a zone. So I've got this Oasis one. Um, and then this is the Old Testament plastic. This is like base plastic. Um, I've never thrown this one yet, so I'm gonna compare these today, see how we can do um, on nine holes, um, see how they fly. I think this Old Testament one should replace my zone because this plastic should beat in a little bit faster and um, fly straighter. So we're gonna test these out today. And then I did bring my uh, just regular zone also. Um, so. Just to compare the parting lines, this is the zone and this is the pillar. You can see the zone is definitely a little bit more shallow. Um, both are flat topped. The pillar is a little bit deeper in hand. Um, both feel comfortable, forehand and backhand. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit of difference in the depth of the disc. quick I'm just gonna go over the gumminess of these discs and the plastic how they feel and all that so first of all I mean this zone it's not what I'm reviewing but I think it's like titanium plastic I'm not entirely sure it doesn't even say on this so I don't know but the ones that really matter for the video um, so the premium oasis plastic right like this is Goliath's um, yeah this is their premium plastic so this is more expensive um, supposed to be more torque resistant overall I found that both of these are pretty dang similar with the flights and all that I will say it is pretty hot today and this black one feels like a lot gummier and if it sits out in the sun for a little bit like it's had a lot more give to it so far so it's yeah it's just been almost seeming like at times it would be like kind of melting and stuff so that's kind of interesting um, the Oasis feels thicker and is definitely a little bit more firm. It's definitely a bit stiffer. Yeah, this one has more give. So this one, once it gets beat in, is going to be great. And I'm hoping this will replace my zone. Um, I don't know, though. I love the zone. I really, really do love the shallow feel. Um, and I got to be honest, personally, I don't like Discraft. I just, I've never liked any of their discs. I just, I'm not a fan. Some people love them, but... There's usually a company that everyone uh, has opinions of, and so for me, Discraft is the one I don't like. For you, you might not like Goliath, you might not like Innova, you might not like Trilogy. A lot of people hate Trilogy. I'm the type of person where I just kind of hate Discraft. But this zone is one of my favorite discs, I will say that. This specific one is so good. Um, it's going to be hard for this pillar to knock it out of the bag, but I want it to. Um, just so I can throw more Goliath. But it's hard because I do like to feel the zone better. This is a little bit deeper, 
not quite as comfortable on a forehand for me. I love the shallowness of his own. Um, but yeah, that, that's my opinion on these. be able to see those first shots what they're like um, the pillar is just so beefy so beefy uh, just wants to dive to the ground hardly any glide um, the zone was the last shot there and the zone pushed straighter way farther the zones looks like about 30 or 40 feet past the black pillar here so the zone definitely has like more glide more pushing forward the pillar is just gonna absolutely dump on you um, you can throw it as hard as you want to and it's it's one of those discs where like it's good for distance control Like rip on as hard as you want to and it's not gonna go past X distance for you All right, here's a look at a very 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 short approach Like 50 60 feet out. I'm just gonna do a little hyzer with these try to ring it up Cash that one. Ah, oh, almost got that one too. All right, hole two here is 325 feet. There is a Mando forcing us to the left, um, but I'm just gonna actually throw it backhand. Ignore the Mando, just throw it out on the right side here and um, see what they do. I want to throw it back in here, so I'm going to. I'm not really playing for score right now. I'm just kind of playing for uh, distance and flight and just how they perform on different holes. So, Oasis pillar first. These things are skippy. Old Testament pillar. All right, now the zone. Two out of three of those shots hit the, the wood up there. Oh well. All right, off to the next shots. All right, same order, pillar, zone, pillar. I'm gonna put these real quick, hang them out to the right side and watch how they fade differently. Kind of drops, doesn't really glide much. Zone. A little bit different. It doesn't want to stall out as much. Pillar again. Ooh. I am trying to beat in that Old Testament pillar and that helps. All right, now this would be a good comparison for these three. Hole is right there, or basket's right there, I should say. Um, 250 feet on the dot. Very, very, very slight headwinds. It's kind of like coming and going. Um, I'm gonna put these on a backhand flat, I think. Um, I'm gonna do black pillar, black zone, blue pillar. Um, kind of put them flat to the right and see what they do. OT pillar first. Oh, it's so beefy, it just doesn't want to go anywhere. Now watch that compared to this. That was inside and kind of an early release, but you can see just how much longer that was in the air. Try to make the correction on this shot. So if you see that it gets to that hyzer angle way quicker and just kind of like dumps very fast. The zone kind of pushes on that hyzer, but the pillar just kind of like dumps. All right, now I'm gonna throw some short approaches with these three baskets right there. I'm just gonna hang them out to the right. Probably got 175, maybe 200, something like that. So, so let's uh, give these a little comparison.
zone. Parked. Again, you can see the glow the blah, the zone's a lot more glidey. Here's the pillar again. A gold disc? Yeah, I haven't seen one. I'll keep an eye out for it. All right, I get to full send a shot now. This hole actually calls for a hyzer. So the basket is up on the hill past this first big tree here. So I'm gonna swing it out to the right, put on some hyzer, let it crash in. And uh, once I throw these, we'll compare the distances. The zone's probably gonna be the closest because the pillars have uh, way less glide. A um, little bit of headwind. It seems like the harder you throw the pillars, the more they just go to a sharp angle. It's weird. Zone. All right, that one lifted a lot more and the wind played with it, so it definitely has way more glide. Pillar. Yeah, you can see that fights the wind so much better. I mean, it literally is going against the headwind. I thought it might kind of stay straight. No, it just dives. Um, if you saw my video of the chain breaker, it's kind of like that, but for your approaches. All right, I'm gonna finish with a little soft forehand approach. Basket's like 80, 90 feet up the hill. I'm gonna try to ring it up. Zone first, then the pillars. That's gonna do it for the video guys. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Appreciate you watching. Gonna pick up a pillar. Use my discount code CAMRAB10. Save you guys 10% off any disc, not just the pillar. Um, that's on Goliath's site. So check it out, get some fresh plastic, and uh, see you guys in the next one.